So this is a fan game that literally dropped kind of out of nowhere. Um, nobody knew about it. Um, he just dropped a a um, a a trailer essentially, and here we are, Sonic Breeze. And this game was made in dreams. Um, I turned on streamer mode so I don't get copyrighted, but um, oh shoot! Uh, as you can see, yeah, it's it's made in dreams. This game. I kid you not is probably the most the best Sonic Dreams game on the platform. So Eggman and Sonic are both voiced by Bayelina Productions, who is a goat if you don't know. Um, but as you can see, um, they even have the that's from uh, the Minecraft version. Uh, That is from the Minecraft version of uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, right there. That thing. But this is a fan game. Like I, I'm already, I'm already getting overloaded because like I, I'm like this is legit just a a fan game that has dropped kind of out of nowhere, um, and it takes a Japanese style of Sonic um, and basically puts 90s style Japan and just drop Sonic into Japan. And as you can see, this game does not even look like a Dreams game. It looks like a completely different game outside of Dreams, and it is phenomenal. Um, as you can see, um, while in the air, okay, yeah, ah, I see. Yeah, oh, I died, wow. Um, but this game, like, compared to... Y'all know I loved Sonic Overdrive, but jeez, bro. This game probably looks better than Overdrive, in my opinion. And it really feels like this... There was a... Uh, while I loved Sonic Overdrive... Um, uh, two... Three... Whoa! Crazy! <laughs> what was that? But while I love Sonic Overdrive, as y'all know, I genuinely think that this game not only just looks better than Overdrive, but also feels faster. Um, and like I said, Overdrive was really... But look at this style. Like that style. Did you see the kanji coming out of Sonic there? It was phenomenal. Like look, boom, boom, boom. This And this genuinely feels so much better like like just in general compared to um uh compared to um like look at that oh my gosh it's so good like and and i know like i said i've played sonic venture i've played sonic um overdrive and both of those games look phenomenal on dreams but this game just isn't a league of its own and i'm telling you buppy has been Hooking behind the scenes. Sonic's too lazy to do this, then I guess I'll have to He has been Hello there. absolutely cooking Knuckles. behind the scenes, Knuckles and it's Echidna. it's phenomenal and to, to see this game. This I've been I literally sat here and waited it's a pretty comfy all day yesterday for him to drop sure this, and he dropped it like 8 p.m. And I was uh I was um I was messaging Cindo DX about it because we were both like super excited about it. Um, point is you can go anywhere using this ring as and now that it's out I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure he's recording it right now too but like uh, he should really do a better job we, watching them so they don't get stolen all this the time. this game for and, me hits uh, all the aesthetical points that I love I love Japanese place. culture I, don't know what I love to say, just, uh, <laughs> look you can move in the cutscene it's so funny tired. um look, just see, see that uh, ring just hop I and see what I happens. love Japanese culture. Yeah, I love Japanese nice. aesthetics. Or, Legit, or my first well, tattoo I've ever gotten has Japanese kanji on it, so I have a Japanese kanji end. on my uh, arm. Just, just hop um, the ring, see where it takes you. It is uh, phenomenal. Yeah, anyway, um, um, as well as a fun uh, fact, good, good Sonic was actually in made in purposely. In, as you can kind of see him here, as you can kind of see him here, Sonic was made. It's a little messy. Yeah, see, that's that's legit Bellina Productions, bro, and he is the goat. We love him. Um, as you can see, um, now in non-streamer mode, this would be playing. Um, this would be playing Japanese music. I didn't want to get copyrighted, although I would freaking love to just do that music. But 
um either way i love this this lab area it's just super cool um cool looking um and yeah sonic was actually made with a japanese like anime-esque style in mind on purpose to um to basically you know be made in any form of media wow oh my gosh sonic lost world music bro hold on we got Sonic. Oh. guys um uh, it's a little embarrassing, but oh my gosh! But if we weren't doing streamer mode, you would hear the um, you would hear the uh, the um, Japanese music. But this, like I said, phenomenal so far. Oh my gosh! Like the gameplay, the way that the oh my gosh, I died. <laughs> the way that the homing attack feels, it does feel a little finicky, I will say. But holy crap! Like all I gotta say is Buppy cooked. That's all I have to say. Buppy absolutely cooked. And this game, Dreams games, I feel like are almost better than PC counterpart games because like I said, um, while I love, while I love PC games and they, um, they definitely are really good, um, fan games, this, I don't know what it is about Dreams creators, man, but they love going above and beyond when it comes to this kind of stuff. They just love to absolutely destroy it with the 3D games, uh, 3D Sonic games medium. And I think um, that says something because obviously, oh, hello. I want, I want that box. I want that box. Give me the box! No! No, the box! Guys, I might have a... Uh... Is there a way to reset? <laughs> I gotta die now. Guys, I... I... Kind of broke the game. I didn't think this was possible. But I uh, kind of broke... Oh, okay, I need to rewind. Okay, let's do this again. Let's go see what Tails is up to. Yes, sir. All right. Anyway, um, but as I was saying, like it, it, it's it's actually really crazy that I feel like a lot of Sonic fan games that are in the 3D medium end up not really like seeing the light of day. But it really seems like it really seems like Dreams fan games go above and beyond that, and they are with the intention of finishing those games because as y'all know I played overdrive and I actually had the overdrive dev comment on my video and you know he said he was actually super excited to see my playthrough of that game when all the chapters come out and this game's even going to have like chapters and a whole story that's going to be coming out as well um and I'm I'm super excited for that well I also think that okay there's even a there's a boost no freaking way there's a boost Bro, look at this. Oh my yo! <laughs> There's a boost! That's crazy. But um this game definitely feels quick. I do I did think that on in the uh not in the cutscenes, but in the trailer that Buffy had uploaded, it felt like he was a lot faster um in the cutscenes and whatnot. Um, but I feel like maybe here it's a little different um, now that I'm kind of like seeing it. But because I was going to say that it felt like Overdrive kind of had a speed cap to it, which I understand. Obviously, the Dreams engine can only do so much as well as like it was probably, you know, a, a whole thing. But um, not only. OK, well, aside from that part uh, screwing me over, um, <laughs> the the loops even feel good in 3D as well. But it's like. Dreams really does just have some really good quality, like 3D Sonic games that are, are definitely getting finished. They they get worked on a lot slower rate than the other games, but they still get worked on, um, and that's telling because obviously you know we're playing Sonic Omens on the channel right now, and I mean it's it, it's I you know it's I it's it's not like you know it's not like master quality or anything. But oh my gosh, this aesthetic! I love it. It's so good. Like this aesthetic is just genuinely so good. You can't help but love it. But it's 
it's it's really fun it you know it doesn't have the parkour but like i said like you can see the dreams logo right there but it looks nothing like it was made in uh nothing like it was made in dreams like just looking at it with how smooth the quality is um and there's even a kyoto cove hold on no 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 i didn't even see this on the is this the same one? Oh, never mind. But like I said, Sonic and Sonic in Japan. We're gonna we're gonna try to run this back. Um, we're gonna run this back. We're gonna run this back. Let me let me let me run through this. I'm gonna run back through this. Oh, hello. Um. Yeah, like this this homing attack kind. Of, dare I say, feels like Sonic Forces homing uh homing attack, which isn't bad because the homing attack in sonic forces actually did feel pretty good i won't lie um but uh because it was just so quick and i remember that was a big thing uh that i remembered about sonic forces do that little camera angle right there just jump through that destroy that crate Woo! boost boost look at that Oh my gosh, so good. But, like, yeah, it, it, it's actually tough. Like, you can tell that the design here is very, very linear. But I think that's on purpose. I think that's really on purpose. Um, you know, uh, this game is more of an aesthetical game, I feel. And it nails that aesthetic of not only just Japanese Sonic, but, like, you know, that anime-esque style that Sonic has been known for and made with the purpose of intending. Um, a lot of people wouldn't believe you if you said it. But legit, Sonic was made with an anime style in mind so he could be transformed into any form of media. And it, it shows because, you know, the, like, he's a, he's a gaming character first. But would we be lying if we didn't say that Sonic is literally one of the most marketable characters of all time? Like, just the aesthetic that you can put him on, t-shirts and all these other things that you can do with him, are it's genuinely phenomenal how marketable Sonic is because of his design and that anime aesthetic that he's always had in mind and it probably makes sense why a lot of Sonic fans are anime watchers because not only was he inspired from Dragon Ball Z but it's just his style is anime-esque so you know it gets you into anime um we'll hit the uh the test uh we'll hit the test area um, cause I have a few thoughts and I didn't want this video to be incredibly short. Um, but yeah, so far, like what Buffy has done here is amazing. And he has absolutely cooked this also compared to overdrive. I feel like feels a lot smoother. Like, I don't know. They make these games in the, for PS five, obviously. And most of those games you're like, Oh yeah, it's whatever. Um, but they feel actually like pretty good here comparatively to um comparatively to uh you can actually like spam spin dash that's crazy and like look at the kanji that comes out when you spam oh my gosh look at this aesthetic but like yeah it, it's like i was saying like it's just it's actually crazy how much like the style and aesthetic of sonic and just even putting a style on it like i feel like even if you didn't have level design that was like phenomenal in the first place you could still get away with having an amazing game with an aesthetic like this like this is genuinely probably i know like i said i love sonic overdrive but this might be the most ambitious most like phenomenal fan game we have on on dreams right now this genuinely does not feel like a dreams game it feels like a a different game entirely and it's in it shows it feels like i'm playing this like on a pc with just controller layouts there's even a look there is even a freaking a freaking i don't even know what half of these do what does this one do oh it's just that's actually crazy That's actually crazy. Like, look at that. But, like, 
it, it genuinely is just a phenomenal game from from start to finish like it, the aesthetic is great and i wish i could play it um if you guys want i'll replay the game with the japanese um with the japanese music if you guys want me to and um that video will obviously get copyrighted but i'm willing to um i'm willing to uh you know make that non non mon monetizable so you can get the full um so you can get the full experience with that if you guys want um because i still need to uh make money on this in the future obviously but you know um i just kind of wanted to show this off because uh it appeared on my timeline one day and this game legit just kind of shadow dropped like out of nowhere like i said and buppy absolutely cooked man um you're doing phenomenal um i'm gonna probably join that discord at some point um, I'm gonna definitely keep up with this game. I think it's gonna be on my radar. Um, I genuinely just love Dream Sonic fan games and what they do for the community, and I love uh, what they do with 3D, um, especially Classic Sonic. Like, I think these games are kind of what um, Sammy Classic Sonic fan was talking about, bro. <laughs> like, Sammy Classic Sonic fan was cooking something, and we didn't know all this time. We were quick. We were quick to hate. We were quick to judge. Sammy Classic Sonic fan, but we didn't know that he was cooking when he was talking about a fully 3D Classic Sonic experience. We didn't know that he was cooking, but here we are now, like, obviously, you know, and phenomenal, just phenomenal game from start to finish, um, super fun, like, look at that, dude, but anyway, that's all from me. Like I said, if you guys want to see a, a video with the Japanese music, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next one.